What was the most horrific game of truth or dare you've ever played? Hi reddit guys. Subscribe now, or I will cancel the election. I got dared to answer the door and pay for the pizza we ordered completely naked. Whatever. Easy, right? The doorbell rings. I strip down quickly, and I grab the cash to pay for the pizza. But the pizza guy was not waiting at the door. It was the mum of one of the girls at the party. She had come to pick her up early, only to find me at the door naked. Her husband was a church minister. The party ended pretty quickly when she called all the other parents were called to pick up their kids. Good times. Does no one have a privacy hole thing or a window next to the door anymore? When I was a door to door salesman, I heard of a guy who made a small fortune starting a business with a screw gun and a pocket full of peep holes. He would knock on people's doors and explain that if he was a robber, they wouldn't have known. For $30 they could select from a style of peep holes that he had and he would install it on their door. He made a good living doing it and then hired on more people to do it until he had a small fleet of door to door peep hole guys. When I was in 6th grade, I was dared to let these 3 girls tie me spread eagle to the bed, clothed, and do anything they wanted for 10 minutes. I thought they would do something exy, instead they spent 10 minutes dropping different objects onto my notes from varying heights. One girl dropped a heavy tape dispenser on me, which made me cry. It wasn't a game of truth or dare, but something kinda like it. You put one person in the middle of a ring of people, and they ask questions to the people around them. The object of the game is for the person in the middle to guess the rules of the game. Everyone else already knows the rules, so the rules of the game are pretty easy. So needless to say things got strange right away. The girl in the middle was getting creeped out and confused. I remember she asked me how big is your peanuts and I answered for the girl sitting next to me. I don't have one. Duh. So, she's getting really frustrated. Finally she turns to her brother who was also playing. She asked him have you ever had a rexual fantasy about me he takes a very slow look at the guy sitting beside him. Turns back to her. And completely deadpan he replies. I'm having one right now. We had to stop playing after that. Other guys dared my girlfriend at the time to blow me. Couldn't get it up. Never happened before. Never since. Probably didn't get up. Because a bunch of dudes were watching. Playing truth or dare. Or your wife blowing you. I was right at the beginning of middle school. We were starting to play truth or dare at birthday parties. We were playing a variation that I think in the US is called, X, Minutes in Heaven. Anyways I think it was my turn for the heaven thing. I was so rooting for the beautiful girl I had a crush with. Instead it gets to a really weird looking girl I wasn't attracted to at all. In my head I'm really let down. This girl wasn't attractive at all. Suddenly the girl starts bawling and runs out screaming something along the lines of not with him. Yeah. Three cups. One with water. One with toilet water. One with pee water. Blindfold. Pick a cup. In reality. Blindfold. Three cups of pee water. Three cups of natty light. I never really had a horrible game of truth or dare. But one time in the 8th grade my friend dared a friend of mine to give me a lap dance and, as it was happening I quietly whispered in her ear that's what daddy likes and she got off and ran. We always did a pair of dares. I to have get sprayed by this mace that is used in correctional facilities, almost looked like a fire extinguisher, or call my friend's mum and ask her on the date. I chose the mace, primarily, because I thought she'd accept. So you'd rather take mace to the face than an evening out and high probability of M. I. L. F. X. You got some weird kinks, son. High probability of M. I. L. Capital F. You assume so much. I've never gone to bed with an unattractive woman. I have, however, woken up next to some tin beers. When I was 13. A girl dared my older brother to show his butt. He pulled down his pants, bent over, and gaped his aole. That's how he understood mooning. At the other end of the spectrum, a couple weeks ago, I was stopped at an intersection, 
and noticed an SUV in the other lane full of probably 19-ish year olds. A guy in the backseat stuck his ass out the window at us while the driver shouted to us. He's mooning you. I was shocked and appalled. That the guy's pants were still up. They thought that was a mooning. All I could see was corduroy bulging out the window. Damn ignorant kids these days can't even properly moon someone. What the frick? I was dared to climb a friend's apartment balcony in nothing but boxers and sneakers. I executed this task with top Spider-Man like efficiency until another inebriated friend stepped out and began to piss off of the balcony not knowing I was just below. Needless to say, anti-piss instincts kicked in, and I dropped two stories down into the parking lot. My profanities were heard echoing four miles around that night. Ha, um, not knowing, you know. Thinking back to it, I'm willing to bet that while I was outside stripping down and getting ready to climb, that fricker was inside daring the other fricker to go piss off the balcony. I've got such great friends. Uh, for the record, I got them back one day. I walked into a bar restroom and found both of them side by side at urinals. They were the only two urinals in the restroom. So I roared, I told you not to use my urinal. Grabbed my friend on the left by his shoulders and swung him to the right, causing my other friend to get drenched in his piss. It was glorious. Golden vengeance. I was pissing at a urinal once and my friend decided he would try and kick me in the ass so my dong would touch the urinal. This ended by me turning and pissing on him. He had been warned. Frick all the actual answers. I once dared a friend of mine to lick a jellyfish. She did. It stung. Did you pee on it afterwards? When I was 15, a girl I was trying to date invited my friend and me over to a house where she was babysitting. When we arrived, she was there with four of her girlfriends, including her one extremely lutty and rumored stee wielding friend. After drinking everything in the house she thought the parents wouldn't miss, we played truth or dare. Eventually, the girl I liked dared me to go have X in the master bedroom with the lut. I passed and took truth, but my friend took the dare and went off with her. They came back out about 5 minutes later, and no one believed they had done anything. 9 months after that, everybody believed them. Two friends who had dated in a group of 8 or so. The guy was trying to badger his ex with increasingly uncomfortable questions. What do you see in him? Why do you like anal? Why don't you love me anymore? That freaking sucked. Betty's a blast at parties. It was funny until the end. Then it was hilarious. Pissed, in a pub. Dared a drunken friend to swim the canal by the pub. This is in Liverpool, UK, in the middle of winter. He stripped bollock naked, and did it. When he got out he had no discernible genitalia whatsoever. This was 20 plus years ago, and I can still see his white ass sticking out of the pretty freaking rancid canal water. Shenanigans that started with me kissing a girl down there ended with my friend and his sister kissing each other back there. We were sober. No one talks about it 15 years later. Wait are you saying that your friend and his sister ate each other's asses out? Young love. Playing in a group of girls, all around 13-14 years old. The most kind-hearted girl there with the sweetest face, cute little curls and freckles is dared to take a dump on a plate in front of the rest of us. No hesitation. Just giggles. Okay, where's the plate? The girl whose house it was then proceeds to keep said plate in the basement freezer for a couple weeks. For science. Until her mum found it. I don't know if they kept the plate. Everyone is concerned about keeping the plate, but I'm more curious about who can just plane it on command. Had to go to the bathroom and show my dong to a girl. Told her I wasn't doing it flaccid so, she would make out with me. Wasn't horrific. 4am, two guys including myself and two girls, one of them was deaf. Um, clothes came off, girls made out with each other, get dared to bang the deaf girl, bang the deaf girl, it was good, but my god the moans, um. I will never forget those moans for as long as I live, they echo in my soul. Along these lines, when I was about 13, I was over at my friend's house. Both of his parents are deaf, 
and their room is right next to his. Apparently they forgot this and had the loudest text ever. I can never forget those noises. I was 12 or 13. I was at my step aunt's house. There were a lot of young adults around, and then my aunt. She asked truth or dare. I said truth. She asked me if I wanted to sleep with her. Comma. Ill bite. Did you? I was playing truth or dare with a girl I liked on my trampoline when she dared me to eat a dandelion. One of the white nasty ones that the wind hasn't blown away yet. A couple rounds later I dared her to kiss me. She said nope and made me come up with a new dare. I just ate a freaking dandelion hoping I would get a kiss playing this game. I was 24 when this happened. What is this no? In truth or dare? I dared a girl to make me a grilled cheese sandwich. But they had no bread. It was horrible sad face. Mother. Grill me a cheese. Okay reddit guys. Subscribe now. Or I will cancel the election.